three reasons why I push 800 pounds of dry grass off my hills in the middle of winter. Great success. Reason number one is obviously to feed my lovely ladies here. They need 2% of their body weight and feed every single day. Whether they get that in their diet from us feeding dry grass, AKA hay, or we allow them to continue grazing pasture with stockpile forage, AKA standing living hay, they need 2% for them not to be hangry because nobody wants a hangry female. Reason number two. So as you can see, I have a two wheel drive open cab tractor. And even though she is the little engine that could, sometimes she just can't. And I know that her strong suits are not in the mud and not in the snow. So if I know those conditions are coming my way, I go ahead and take her out on a dry day, set a bunch of bales out in the field that the cows are in, fence them off with electric fence and push them down the hill as needed, like you see earlier today. Once again, I'm rolling up the electric fence, getting that out of the way so that I can then cut the net wrap that helps keep the bale together, hay in place, keeps it in a roll, pull that off to the side, unchalk the bale with a six by six I have from keeping it rolling down the hill, give it a big push, away it goes. Reason number three, and that's grass grows grass. Whatever my beautiful ruminating bovine do not consume for their own diet to transmute into this beautiful fertilizer, AKA cow poop, the soil microbes, the bacteria, the fungus, the earthworms will break this down and consume it and transmute it into beautiful, dark, nutrient-dense soil. So it's a win-win for everybody.